You have a question or a comment for Hussein yeah. Fatal. How y'all doing? This this king right here. I just want to shout out the uh, host, Elegant Diamond Trash Grandma Pudding. And, of course, today's, um, you know, today's artist on, on the show, Fatal, man. Um, I just had one question for you, bro. Um, as far as, you know, hip-hop and where it stands at today, I mean, you know, with the outlaws and, um, you know, Tupac, you guys created the brand as far as thug rapping, you know what I'm saying, as far as putting real shit out there, as far as, you know, what, what really goes down. What do you think about today as far as these new rappers? Like, you know, one in particular I had on my mind, like Young Thug, you know, the, these rappers out here claiming to do shit, you know what I'm saying, but they on a whole nother level with it. What you think about that, man? So number one, like, hip-hop made a dramatical change, man. It's, 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 it's bigger than just the artist, my nigga. It's like after that after that fake East Coast, West Coast war, you got to believe that the powers that be somehow has something to do with, like, yo, we going to change this shit whether people like it or not. We're not going to play these conscious niggas. We're not going to play common sense. We're not going to play child live quality. We're going to play people that's out there telling motherfuckers to spend up all their money Tell them motherfuckers to wear this and wear that. We're going to brainwash that motherfucking community. And then, you know, we're going to have motherfuckers. We're going to put put rappers in order. Like, I mean, I don't want to say take away from no other artists out there, race or nothing like that, because hip-hop is hip-hop. But us as a people got to learn to take care of our shit. Or motherfuckers is going to swoop in while we thinking about some other unimportant shit. They're going to swoop in from the back end and just take your shit. I mean, that, we get our shit took in every fucking, like, it, it makes no sense to me. But to answer your question, I don't got no opinion about that shit. Shit change, man. You just got to change with it. I wanted to ask, what was the funniest thing, funniest memory you got of Pop? The funniest, funniest? It's a yeah. bunch of them. It's a bunch <laughs> of them, but it's definitely this one time, man, when we was out and um, we decided, well, he decided he wanted to go. Because you got to remember, back then, I was, I was kind of older, man. I was like, you know, I was like 21, 22, and the nigga Pop, you know, I had ID. <laughs> it was like he wanted to jump out. He wanted to go somewhere one day without security and shit. <laughs> and we motherfucking went to uh, we went to some strip club. But anyway, we got all drunk and shit. And man, this dude started driving fast as hell in his act and shit. And you know, in LA they got them motherfucking on the four five. They got them bumps in the road or something. It's like yeah. the gag was like jumping over the bumps and he just looking at me laughing like the shit was funny and I'm holding on tight as hell like damn we about to die on the fucking highway. Yo, what up? Hi, caller. Hi. Hi, uh, Fatal. This is Martha. And, you know, I've been listening to the uh, interview, and I just got to say, how do you deal with the rumors about Pop? And, and what do you have to say when people post videos on YouTube and say that he's been spotted with you guys. How do you how do you respond to I mean uh, he hasn't been spotted with us. I mean my thing is if that motherfucker I mean if he my he my man, so if he wanna people think that he's alive, then I'm gonna help him with that kind of shit. I've never seen him dead. I didn't go to no funeral. We didn't parade his body around the streets like everybody else. Like, you know, I mean, if, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I really don't, you know, I don't pay no attention to that shit. What? You probably do be seeing him, but his plan is working to fucking perfection. You're not, he, nobody's going to believe that's him. 
after all this time. Everybody is going to be paying attention to whatever they're paying attention to. You can say, I saw well, Tupac at Walmart. And everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, or it was a lookalike. You probably do be seeing him, but his plan is working to fucking perfection. You're not, he, nobody's gonna believe that's him. They said Tupac's dead. dead. But this year, 2016, 2016, 2016, I'm back. I'm back. I got moved. That all I saw. Me moving. <laughs> that ain't never been me. Thug life. Thug life. Let it hop out. Let it hop out. Let it hop out. Let it hop out.